Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com. And in this video, we're going to explain what to do when your iPhone cannot verify server identity. You've probably got a pop-up on screen that looks like that. Mm -hmm. So if you see this, the first thing to understand is that your iPhone, when you see this, is trying to verify the identity of the server using a secure certificate. And without getting too technical, what has to happen for this to work is your iPhone needs to match the correct date of the certificate, the date in your phone, so we're gonna check the date settings. And it also needs to be able to connect through SSL, and those can be different ports, so we're gonna eliminate the possibility of a network problem. The first thing, though, to check is just close and reopen the mail app. So to do that, you're gonna open the app switcher by swiping up from the bottom of yep, the screen. I can't, I can't, I can't, I okay, can't, can't do it, do we have to cancel first? Yeah. Swipe up from the bottom of the screen with your finger. App switcher appears. Yep. Swipe it up and off the top of the screen. Oh, right. I still can't verify the server identity. I it's got kind it. of annoying, huh? Yeah. Is that why you're watching this video? Yeah. Perhaps. Close, so let's open the mail up again. Does right. that fix the problem? Oh, it doesn't fix the problem. <laughs> what do you know? I, yeah. <laughs> okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is check the date and time settings on your yep. iPhone. So tap cancel again. Let's get out of here. Right. Let's go to the settings app. And I just want to point out that that was a Gmail error, and you can go to details and you can trust a certificate manually, mm -hmm. but you should never have to, especially if it's a Gmail problem. Right. And, uh, you know, this should never happen. Right. Ever. So just keep hitting cancel. Just keep hitting cancel. Pretty cancel. annoying, huh? We'll make it through this video. Yep. Uh, so open the settings app to check the date and time settings tab. Gen oh my God. General. Yeah. Uh, date and time. And oh my goodness, it's set to June 11th, 2012. Maybe that's the issue. Could be. Could be that we changed it to that for making this video yep. so we could demonstrate what it looks like. Man, is this annoying. Yeah. Tap Man. cancel, I'm gonna tap set automatically. That's gonna fix your problem if your date is set incorrectly there. Right, you might wanna just toggle that back and forth. Yeah, boy. It's gonna eventually fix the problem. So, now if we go to the mail app, David should be able to refresh it. If I go to the mail app. Yep. And voila. There it, it is, updated just now. Yep, so in David's case, it was that. Ne next thing, if you're connected to Wi-Fi, disconnect from Wi-Fi and try using cellular data. Yep. If you're connected with cellular data, disconnect or connect to a Wi-Fi network like at the library or McDonald's or at home or anywhere, yep. try to do it. Same problem, then it's not a network connection problem. Absolutely. The next thing to do is to delete the email account and re-add it on your iPhone. Sometimes, and I know this happened to my parents relatively recently, server settings for mail accounts can change. Like the company that your email is through, especially if it's a more of a local company, like for my parents, it's through the cable internet provider. I don't know why they, st anyway, they had to update the settings on their iPhone. Yep, so open the okay. settings app here. Yep. Let me go back to general, back to settings, tap my passwords and accounts, tap on Gmail, and then just tap delete account. One thing I wanna point out is if your account is a POP mail account, which stands for Post Office Protocol, or an older account, if you delete it from your phone, you might also just lose all your messages. Like <laughs> they might not re-download. So make sure that you have a backup of your iPhone before you do this, or that your messages are, let's say, in your computer as well. If you have Gmail, if you have AOL, if you have any, any of the newer email services, Exchange, Yahoo, I could name a whole bunch of them. Yeah. You're fine to do yeah. this. I'm gonna tap delete account. Yeah. Deleting. So once the email account has been deleted on your iPhone, just tap add account again, choose your email provider, walk through the steps, yep. set it up again. It'll see, download, hopefully yeah. this works. Yeah, see if that fixes the problem. If it doesn't, we're trying to eliminate a deeper software problem by resetting all settings. So let's tap back to accounts, and back, back to settings. settings. Yeah. Up to general, down to reset, reset all settings. Get the confirmation alert, tap reset all settings again, iPhone turns off, resets, turns back on. Yep. It'll lose your Wi-Fi passwords and your Bluetooth devices to reconnect those. It's easier though than trying to go through the entire setup process again yep. from scratch. Absolutely. Yeah, the next step that we recommend is a DFU restore, and this is something that Apple will make you do if you bring your iPhone to them. Because if this is a verify server identity problem, it's not a hardware issue. I mean, if, it, if your iPhone's connecting to the internet, mm -hmm. it's not a hardware issue, it's a software issue. If the reset all settings doesn't fix it, a DFU restore will. Yep. Device firmware update. Yeah, so check out our DFU walkthrough in a card above and the description section below. That is what to do when your iPhone cannot verify server identity. Yeah. Very annoying, I didn't realize how annoying it was. Yeah. And, uh, Oh, yeah, I understand why you're watching this video now. We just it's, developed a level of empathy that yeah. we didn't have. <laughs>
Absolutely. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below with any other questions. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great iPhone videos.